you know i don't want this video to be about excuses but this video is about excuses you know yeah it's just life got in the way you know <laughs> Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be filming, well I did film a get ready with me on New Year's Eve last night. I realized that I never filmed an intro clip, so I just wanted to pop on here and introduce the video. I do want to say that I was talking very, very fast in this video, as I am right now. I just had, I had had coffee right before filming this, so that's why I was just really like hyped up on caffeine and <laughs> was really talking really fast so i do apologize for that um but if you do like this video don't forget to hit that subscribe button and thank you guys so much for watching and let's just go into the video anyways the first thing i did was my hair which i actually did off camera um because just because i didn't feel like filming it i don't know it's really simple i just put this kinky curly leave-in conditioner a crop ton of this in my hair then i went in with this cantu leave-in conditioning cream and then I went in with coconut oil and then after I do my makeup I'm also going to throw in some mousse because I want my hair to last all night and my hair even with all this product in it just doesn't doesn't stay hydrated I half of it's dead so that's probably why but anyways first thing I'm gonna do is put chapstick on because I can literally feel how gross my lips are right now my lips are already abnormally dry to begin with and this winter is just killing them like it's so gross this is just Vaseline. I also use a Laneige lip mask, but that's all the way downstairs. And I don't feel like walking down there. Ah, uh, the first thing I put on my face is this Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. I've used this for literally so long. I hope 2020 is a lot better than this tutorial because dear gosh. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna prime my eyelashes. So I use this Lash Sensational Serum Applicator and eyelash curler. I can't tell you how important this stuff is for me because my lashes literally do not stay curled otherwise okay so while the primer is sitting into my eyelashes and to my skin i then do my eyebrows with the nyx professional micro brow pencil in black okay so let's get to the chit chatty part of this video because i'm hoping that's why you all are watching this even if you aren't like this video i'm really bad at talking and doing stuff so i do apologize but i feel like this needs to be explained but basically um the main thing i wanted to talk about was why i didn't do vlogmas and why it ended on day four and honestly girl i'm wondering why too okay so let me first explain so first off i think it's important to note that the second day of vlogmas was my first day of my new full-time nine-to-five job the training was three weeks which was basically all of vlogmas for the most part and let me tell you like this was intense this training is like literally going to school for eight hours a day and then waking up the next morning and having to remember everything from the day before and i know that like they didn't expect me to remember everything but technically the job that i have right now is temporary they're hiring permanent people at the end of february but I obviously want to make sure I still have a job. So I was like trying to be like the best possible student and like <laughs> it was exhausting. Basically the first month of December, the first month of December, <laughs> the first day in December, the second day, the second day. So, oh my God. Oh my God. So the second day of Vlogmas in December, December 2nd was the first day of my new job. I work full time nine to five at a healthcare company and it's a lot of work. The training was three weeks. It's a lot of information to take in. And then on top of that, I also do Uber sometimes. And then like kind of when I want to, when I feel like it, which for the past three weeks have, hasn't really been much because I've been like making sure I knew everything. And then I also was doing um, school on top of that. I need to do my makeup, oh my god. I color correct for anyone who doesn't know. You see these, my terrible complexion, I'm fixing that. So I'm gonna use this HD corrector. So I used to use the LA Girl and now I think this, I don't know the brand. Black Radiance is this brand. But honestly, the LA Girl one, the coverage was better. I like the consistency of this cause it's thinner and not as thick, but the coverage of the other one was better. But I think it's just cause it was so much thicker. So I do just like, apply a little bit more of this because the LA girl one also I don't know if it was too old but it was literally starting to burn my under eyes when I put it on so I just had to stop using that so back to the work oh wait okay what was I saying wow this I cannot do chit chat already with me it's, it's like really hard um December 3rd my dad fell 
and so this isn't really a reason why but like I was just making sure he was all good from that because he actually fell twice in December he fell the third at the beginning and I think two no like one and a half weeks later he fell again and then we went to the ER both times but the first time they said he was fine and sent him home the second time we found out that he broke three ribs and that he fractured two vertebrae in his spine and he's fine he can like walk and everything I'm pretty sure that he fractured the vertebrae on the first fall and so he, I'm pretty sure he was walking around for like a week and a half with two fractured vertebrae like it was nothing so <laughs> that's crazy but yeah so that was like on my mind vlogmas and as you guys know i stopped day four and at the beginning of vlogmas i told myself before vlogmas even happened that i needed to prepare okay next i'm gonna go in with this tarte shape tape concealer it is in the shade tan sand this is what i'm gonna use as my foundation i'm just gonna put it around my nose under my i'm basically all over my face as if it's a foundation but it's not so okay anyways what was i saying oh i forgot again oh my god what was i saying really cassandra i was saying something about my dad falling and then i oh i was saying i needed to prepare for vlogmas oh my god i'm so bad i thought that i would be fine like i planned out every single day planned out what i need to film when i need to film it when i need to like i planned out every like i had in my planner i literally had every hour from the time i woke up to the time i like when i was working when i was ubering when i wasn't ubering when i was editing like i planned everything out okay and then I just like I, it started falling apart immediately. I didn't do any of the stuff I was supposed to do that day, so it put me back for like day six and day seven. Like I didn't plan any extra time into Vlogmas. It was just you had to do it when I scheduled it. So and then I just didn't prepare. Like I was supposed to pre-film videos and I didn't do it. Like there's really no reason. Like it was before anything even happened with my dad. Like it was before Vlogmas even started, and I just was supposed to pre-film videos and I didn't. So. And I knew that I'd be working like 50 hours, like mm, like 45-ish hours a week um, and then trying to do this. Like I knew well ahead of time what I was getting myself into and what I planned on doing. And then I just, it's just, ugh, I'm so mad too because I was so excited. Like I planned everything out. I planned every single video. I was ready for this. I was ready to tackle it. I was so excited to tackle it. And then it just fell apart. <laughs> the main reason why I did not film videos well not film videos edit get vlogmas videos up the main reason why i did not put videos up for vlogmas is because i don't remember the exact day it broke my laptop had been like messing up for a while and the screen would just take a while to wake up but then one day i came home from work and my computer my laptop just wouldn't wake up like it was broken the screen display is broken so i was like so mad i was like no this is vlogmas so this can't be happening let's facetiming autumn like talking to the apple care people and they were like oh you're just gonna need to, to send it in so then i was like it's okay like i, I bought myself an imac years ago like it's really really slow because it's kind of old but i should still be able to edit on it and it'll just take me a long time and i forgot that i had tried to reset it to make it faster and so then i just messed everything up and then my imac was broken too it was just so annoying like literally like fact the fact that both of my thousand dollar computers broke in the same like time that's just like another reason why i didn't post because i literally had nothing to edit on that was a really long unneeded explanation but i gave it to you anyways um is that everything that went on in december there was just like a lot and then like after i oh by the way i just used this fit me concealer 355 shade to like contour my face um a little bit i'm going again because it's new year's eve why the freak not and then my car i mean this has nothing to do with you with youtube but then my car battery died and i found out that that cost 200 dollars. i also needed snow tires and that cost like 400 dollars. and like it was just a lot like december was not my month <laughs> like they really just did me dirty 2019 december just really a what a way to end i don't know why i'm not using this light Ooh, yeah never mind we're turning you off next i'm gonna go in with this master strobing liquid by maybelline so i've just been like literally putting this tube squirting some out and then just putting it directly on my face with the tube this smells like emmer's glue elmer's elmer's ms glue that's why i just said it smells like elmer's glue it really does it's kind of gross but it works i'm a terrible makeup person <laughs> um yeah i'm just blending this out so it's not just a straight line on my face okay but this is good for now because now after i finish my face with the cream products i'm going to go over it 
with all of my powder products because my face gets really oily. So I'm gonna use this Airspun um, powder. It's supposed to be a Laura Mercier dupe. I've never used a Laura Mercier because I'm cheap and broke, so. Okay, well, now that that's over, um, we're just gonna pat this, all this on my nose because except for trying to stay away from where the highlight is as much as possible. So do it on my nose, my chin, and my forehead because those places get oily. Tiny one that I thought I lost, so I guess I lost the big one, but we're just gonna bake under my eye. Well, both eyes, obviously, because that would be weird. Also, did I mention that I can't see? Okay, so, I really don't want to put on false lashes. Okay, I'm gonna do it. So, I'm gonna take this, like, fluffy-ish. Is there makeup on here? Yeah. I'm gonna take this fluffy brush. This now bronze shade out of my, what even is this? Morphe 9B. Oh, it says Bronze Babe Palette. Okay. What did I say I was using? Oh, this one. Now Boarding. What did I say it was? <laughs> it's called Now Boarding. Oh, wait. That's a lot darker than I thought. Oh, there's not like that dark. Okay, we're just gonna have to blend you out. I'm putting this in my crease. But I don't know what I'm doing, so please don't like follow my instructions with like this flatter brush. So I'm going to take this Garnet color. Garnet in the Lorac Pro palette. I've had this for years and I'm going to place this on my lid but I have to like make sure I know how to do this because if I do it too high my whole lid will look really big. As you see when I close my eye this looks so bad. I tried it though like I really did. Okay. Fix this. I'm gonna see if baking can help me. I'm gonna take this pointed brush and just honestly take that same now boarding color and drag it underneath. I didn't even finish. Okay, well, now that I did my eyeshadow and I wiped away the excess, I'm going to go in with my Hula bronzer. And it's like fluffiest, but it's like pretty dense. Fluffy and dense. Okay, it's like a dome, but it's like dense. That's what I want to say. I'm just gonna go over where I put my fit me concealer i'm gonna put some on my nose just like excess because i realized when i leave my nose blank it makes it look bad so i'm going to apply my only highlight that i own this is the one i always use it's the bobby brown in afternoon glow i just think i love this one because it's really really natural but I, oh jesus <laughs> now we're gonna do lashes so i've decided Oh no, I forgot the blush. I, I lied. We're gonna do blush now. So if I can open this Milani blush, it's in the Rose Dior. I'm just gonna put this on my apples here. I'm going to sweep it into the like between the highlight. Contour. The lashes I'm gonna use are by Ardell. They're wispies. I don't have the thing it comes in, so I don't know what they are but it's 113 black if it helps. Where's my tweezers? Okay, I'm back. I got them on. Um, so next I'm just gonna do mascara. Okay, so I'm just gonna let them sit and make sure that they're fully dry on me eyes, <laughs> on my eyes before I put mascara on them, but I am gonna do my bottom lashes so I look human. Okay, so now I'm just gonna take the same pumped up colossal my Maybelline mascara. This one is a good dupe for the Better Than Sex mascara, but the only thing is, it dries out really, really fast. Now, I'm just going to take, lastly, my Morphe spray, which I'm literally... My sister has totally been using this, and I'm pissed. Okay, I just, like, completely douse my face and this Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. Now, I'm done with the makeup, I'm done with the hair. Um, it's still kind of wet, so I still can put some mousse in it. I think I might actually do that. And then I'm gonna show you guys my outfit. So I'm pretty sure I'm gonna wear this top from Target that I got. And then for pants, I'm just gonna wear these jeans that have just like knee hole rips in them. And then I'm probably gonna wear my layered necklace and 
probably just black booties i'm not 100 sure we're just going to a restaurant though so i might just wear converse um definitely go follow my instagram if you want to see what the full outfit looks like because i'm running really late and i need to hurry up now so i gotta go but thank you guys for watching Alrighty, guys so that is a look that i had for new year's eve i hope you guys enjoyed this video again don't forget to subscribe and i will see you guys in my next one bye guys